Hey friends, super excited to show you today the brand new Trini London BFF De-Stress product. Plus I have three other brand new Trini London products and I'm gonna do a full face here for you. I've got eight or nine total Trini products I'm gonna use and a couple others uh, just to complete a full face look. So let's dive right into it. I am gonna start with their BFF Cream SPF 30 in the shade Light. Um, it generally comes in a little pod like this, but I'm working with a sample here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on. So this is your moisturizing step and your sun protection step. And one of my number one beauty tips is wear sunscreen. It prevents aging, it prevents sunspots. It's just super important. It even prevents fatigue. Like you can get mentally fatigued if you're out in the sun and have no protection. So sunscreen is very, very important. So this is a light kind of creamy product. Um, it looks pretty much white but uh, it goes on quite light, which is really nice. It has a very kind of spa-like smell to it, almost like soapy, floral kind of spa smell, not too heavy. Generally, I really don't like fragrance in any of my skincare or makeup products, but this one's not too oppressive, so that's great. Um, okay, before we go into the de-stress, I'm gonna start with the BFF Eye in the shade Mary. And I bought this originally thinking that it was an under eye concealer, but it really doesn't give the coverage of a concealer. It's more like a tinted moisturizer for under the eye. And I'll put some just a touch over top of it to uh, give it more coverage. So I have the tea kit here. This is actually one of the new products I'm showing you. I'm going to use the shade brush and dip it right into this little guy. And like I said, it, it gives a very nice like veil of moisture, but it's just not full coverage enough to be called a concealer. So I enjoy it for its moisturization, but definitely need a little something else for the coverage aspect of it. Okay, so we've got the BFF eye on. We have the BFF uh, cream SPF 30 in light. And now we're gonna go in with the de-stress. So I have the shade Jemima, and this is literally the first time I'm ever opening it. So let's see how we do here. Okay, interesting. Looks like it's got a little squeeze top. So let's, there we go. All right, so let's check out this shade. So I use their match to me, which is, kind of like a questionnaire you take and they have an algorithm and whatnot that then matches you with shades uh, across their entire line that are supposed to be good for your skin tone, eye, you know, hair tone, um, the combination, the full package that makes you as beautiful as you are. So Jemima is what I ended up for the de-stress. So let's see what we think of this. I First impressions, it has kind of that soapy smell that the BFF Cream SPF 30 had. I definitely think the shade is a little bit light for me. Maybe if we work it in. It honestly feels a little bit heavy. I kind of feel like I'm putting on a full coverage foundation. And now my impression of what this product was, was a little bit like, it was kind of like the BB cream I made, just kind of like a little base layer for just a little bit of color correction, but it very much feels like a foundation. Now it's supposed to be, or have some serum aspects to it. Really hard to attest to those types of claims unless you use a product a lot and really consistently. So. So far, let you take a look first. I think the color's a little bit light for me, but we can definitely tan me up a bit. It feels a little heavy. It definitely feels like a full coverage foundation, which is 
not something I would normally go for, to be honest. So let's add some, just a touch in here. I have a new color, which is the shade Zandy. And this is another one of their little samples. So it's kind of in this ugly little guy here. Um, I also have Trintron here. And I'm gonna kind of use a little bit of both. I mean, to be honest, we've already put on more coverage than I normally would do. So I'm not gonna add a whole lot of this. So I'm using the Trintron shade right now. This is the lighter shade of the two between this and the Zandi. The Zandi I'm gonna maybe use for any color correction in some other spots. Although I'd see that BFF de-stress Really? I don't know if it's just that the color is a little too light for me, but I feel like I'm wearing like stage makeup. Like it is that heavy feeling and I've raised all my little freckles that I really kind of like. So first impressions are not positive actually on the de-stress. I literally feel like I have stage makeup on and I'm about to perform at the theater. But, I mean, it has kind of a nice finish to it. If you're looking for a full coverage foundation, you might enjoy this. A little context of like what I like, I never wear full coverage anything. I generally tap in a little bit of the just a touch or some other type of like concealer or light product and don't ever go for this full, it feels like I've used this term before, like it almost feels like I've whitewashed my face, which is the exact opposite of what you wanna do when you're looking for a natural look. You have natural dimension in your skin and in your face and you wanna maintain that if you're looking for a natural makeup. And I'm gonna really have to artificially put it back in because that de-stress was so heavy. I really expected it to be sort of like my BB cream, which is like this light kind of wash of color to just do some light color correction, but still let your natural skin shine through. And this is just so much more full coverage than I was expecting. So anyway, I'm dealing with a bit of shock. Even my hands, I feel like I have like a quarter inch layer of product on my hands that I've just got to get off so I can work with some other products. Wow. Okay, so what shall we do next? I think I desperately need some dimension in my face. So I am going to add in a product that is not Trini London. This is actually Manasse 7, which is a Swedish brand. It's very clean, it's beautiful, it's lovely. They have so many different shades. This is their all over color product in the color Manchetti, which is kind of like this chai latte color, which can be used for bronzing. It's beautiful on the lips, but we're going to try and work some dimension back into this like whitewashed canvas that I created with that BFF de-stress. Like, I feel like I took all the life out of my face with that product. Maybe, again, maybe it was just too light for me, I don't know, but I feel like I look like I'm ill or something. I really like to hit my clavicle with, that, with whatever sort of self tanner bronzer product because when you are trying to add a I was just at the beach yesterday look you want to hit all your high points which would include this part here on your decollete okay looking a little more alive than I was thank you Manasseh 7 okay next Let's go for, this is another Trini London product. It is the Kate, uh, this is their Cheekbones product, which is really kind of interesting contour product. It's taupe, whereas most of the contour products I've ever seen are more of a brown. This is more of a true taupe. 
And the way I apply it is I'll put some product on my middle finger and then I'll generally take my pointer finger to kind of find the ridge of my cheekbone and then I swipe the color right underneath it, just right there at the back, as you can see. I'm gonna do the same on this side, kind of right under my cheekbone and keep it really far back and then we're gonna just pat it in Work it in really good. So I generally like to keep any cheekbone product really far back. I find it looks very unnatural when you put it like all the way down and wrap it under your cheekbone, which is the way I see it applied in, I guess, more dramatic kind of makeups. I like to keep my look very natural. Okay, so you can see that just gave me a little bit of dimension right back here to kind of lift my cheekbones. Okay, let's see what we have next. Let's next do lips and we'll go back to our tea kit. We're gonna use, whoops, not that little guy. Let's get Humpty Dumpty back together again first. So this is the lip little guy and I have a sample of the shade Bunny which is their sheer shimmer lippy color and it's kind of like a little gloss and it's very this shade is this like very light peachy color it definitely has like little sparkles and glitter in it which is not usually my cup of tea. I'm not trying to be really negative in this video. I feel like I'm, I'm having some negative reactions, but similar to the Mama, the Sheer Shimmers, as I guess the name uh, sort of indicates, has shimmer, but has shimmer in the form of glitter, like chunks of glitter. I generally like to kind of double purpose whatever I put on my lips onto my cheeks, but it really doesn't work with these sheer shimmer products because they end up with like all this glitter on my cheeks and I don't generally like that, but on the lips, this is quite nice. It's has a little bit of an iridescence to it, but it didn't add like a ton of color. I could very much see using this even as like a top gloss over maybe a more dramatic color if you wanted sort of this iridescent look. Okay, so next I'm going to use actually a really new highlighter product by RMS Beauty. This is their Master Radiance Base, and it's this really beautiful highlighter that has, it looks like glittery in, in the container, but it doesn't go on glittery, so I'm going to demonstrate for you. I'm going to just take a bit of this onto the high points of the face. And RMS Beauty is a clean beauty brand, USA, I believe. Yes, USA. This has some warmth to it, so I'm putting it in the same areas that I did that, I'm gonna say seven bronzer product, including my clavicle bones right there. And in my continued effort to breathe life back into my skin, I'm gonna use another product by Manasseh 7. This is their shade Bisque of the All Over Color. This is a little sample guy. Uh, this is a very nice kind of natural uh, shade. Great for the lips, great for the cheeks. I like to smile, really identify where the apples of my cheeks, concentrate the color there, and then work it out a little bit. So not doing big sweeping, color just right there all right so 
Next, we are going to do eyes and brows and then call it a day. But I'm still feeling like I look hauntingly washed out from that BFF de-stress product and still so heavy. It is not sinking in. Um, I feel unhinged with this like level of product on my face. Um, okay, let's go in for the eyes and I am actually going to go back to the Manassi 7 color, this kind of lovely brown, just to dab it on my eyes. Just a little bit of something, something right there. Okay. For liner, I am going to use the Le Crayon You by Chanel. This is the teak brown color. Love this pencil for lining, but also for breathing life back into those little moles that most of us have some little moles on our face beauty marks, if you will. This is like a super sloppo job on the eyeliner. But I like this crayon because it's not hard. It's nice and soft. You can get kind of a refined look. Or if you're just being sloppy like I am, you can kind of just place the color and then smudge it a little bit for a little bit of an undone look. And then let's talk about adding those moles back in, especially since I lost all my little beauty marks with that BFF de-stress. This pencil is actually really nice for Kind of accentuating those it's great for covering if you have like a little pimple you can kind of turn it into a little beauty mark like right there that's kind of a little scar from a pimple that i picked like a week ago hey this guy too we can kind of just turn it into a little mole so i learned this from gucci westman who's a famous makeup artist and little moles and beauty marks and like natural dimension and color in your face is so important to not looking like you're wearing stage makeup. So I kind of like to sometimes even take the little imperfections or the sunspots that are shining through and kind of just accentuate them with this little guy. And you know, they're not meant to be harsh. You want them to look natural. So give them little taps. And now let's go for a brow. So another Chanel product. This is the Boy de Chanel eye pencil in the shade Deep Brown. And it has this kind of slanted flat little head to it. And actually, before I go in there, I'm going to go to the other side and do brows. Just kind of, I have the craziest shaped brows. They have a mind of their own. So... I have always struggled with getting some natural definition in my brows without having my brows look painted on. This Boy de Chanel product by far is the best, in my opinion, of what I have found for adding just kind of some natural looking depth and dimension without the very painted on, precise, perfect looking eyebrow. Okay. So there we go. Last is mascara, and then we're gonna do last thoughts on all the Trini products. So this is the Westman Atelier I Love You Mascara. This is a very clean mascara, a soft black. I like it in particular because it's very buildable without getting spidery. Okay. 
finished face. So let's talk Trini London here for a second. We showed off a lot of products. I'm going to talk first about the new ones that I haven't talked about in previous videos, and then I will talk, um, just kind of wrap it up about the other ones that we did show today. So the Trini London BFF De-Stress, which was kind of the main star of the show, at least that was my intention when I started this, and I am really not enjoying this product right now. It was way more full coverage than I thought. If you're looking for full coverage, you might really enjoy this. It's quite heavy. It definitely erased like my natural skin. And I, I don't like that. That's not what I'm looking for in any makeup. I do not want to camouflage the entirety of, you know, the natural dimension or beauty that I've been given. So not a fan of the de-stress. So right before that, I had put on the BFF Cream SPF 30 in the shade Light. It was a um, sample that I got from them. I did like that. Uh, generally, I don't like fragrance in any of my products, and it was fragranced, but lightly fragranced, and the smell of it has gone away. It's not like a lot of Dior products or other French products, Givenchy, they put this really strong floral scent into their cosmetics or their skincare, and they linger. It's like you've just spritzed yourself in the face with perfume, but um, I'm happy to say that the scent from the BFF cream SPF 30 in the shade light did not stick around. So I did enjoy that one. Um, the Just a Touch in the shade Zandy, I feel like I didn't really use a ton of it because I was already feeling like I had way too much product on my face. I generally like the Just a Touch product. I own a full size of the Trintron. And uh, what I was kind of showing you today was the sample in the Zandy, which was just a little bit darker color. I do like the Just a Touch product by Trini. I would much prefer to use that throughout my face than this BFF De-Stress. And generally how I would use that, I have another video where I demonstrate how I use that, um, that I will link below. But generally that I kind of use just to do a little bit of color correction, but allow my um, natural skin to really shine. So. I do like the Just a Touch product. Um, the tea kit, I would say, is handy for on the go. For in your bathroom application, I've got other uh, kind of larger brushes that are quite a bit easier to use. But for sticking in your bag and doing on the go makeup, it's quite nice. We didn't demonstrate this brush. This one's an eyeliner brush. Um, but for on the go, it's a, it's a good one to hang on to. Uh, the BFF Mary, uh, which is sorry, the BFF eye color, that was what I had first put on under my eyes. Um, nice as a tinted moisturizer. Definitely enjoy the extra moisturization um, under the eye, but this is not a concealer, my friends, at least not uh, how I would define a concealer. The Kate cheekbone product, that was that taupe cheekbone product. Of all the cheekbone products I've ever used, I, I really do kind of like this one. It's a very subtle dimension that it gives you right there. So I enjoyed that one. I think it's a unique product. Um, let's see, that that's all the Trini London products I showed you. And you know what, I have one more that I'm gonna show you. This is the Miracle Blur. And I demonstrated this in another video underneath my makeup. So this is a different way to apply this product and putting it on at the end. So this is a putty textured product. Uh, it's quite light in color, but it doesn't lend color to your skin. It's more meant to be a filler for your fine lines. So I think you can probably see right here the way the light's hitting me that I have some fine lines. So I'm going to apply this product and see how it does at filling in those fine lines. So this is definitely a unique product. I feel like as far as instant gratification goes, this one really does something. Okay, some fine lines here. It really does a nice job of filling in those fine lines. Generally, but you know what? When I'm comparing this mode of application of doing it at the end versus doing it at the beginning, I actually think what this did, although it did kind of fill in some of those lines is it gave my skin kind of a ruddy texture. 
So I think I much prefer the application that I showed in the other video, which again, I'll link below, where I put on the Miracle Blur product underneath my other product. It was much better as a base, I think. Like I have this very pebbly texture now on my forehead. So those were the Trini London products. Maybe just to wrap up the other products I used really quick. Uh, the Manasseh 7 Manchetti color of the all over color, lovely for bronzing. This brand new RMS Master Radiance Space is one that I'm really enjoying playing with. I've tried it kind of as a base. I've put it in with my BB cream and put it all over. I've used it you know, on the top, sort of like I demonstrate as a highlighter. And that one's kind of a fun one. Oh, you know what? Here's another Trini product that I didn't do a recap on. And that was the Bunny Sheer Shimmer. And it's nice. I like the kind of like soft pink iridescence it added. And as a lip only product, it feels nice. It doesn't feel too heavy. It's pretty. So I like that one. I feel like I'm all over the place today. So if you guys are like, you are a crazy person, what are you on? I'm high on life, my friends. I went to power yoga before this. So that's, that's where I'm at right now. Um, the Chanel uh, Precision Eye Definer Eyeliner. Love this one. Boy, does Chanel Eyebrow Pencil. Love this one. The um, Blush by Manasse 7 and Bisque. Love that one. I Love You Mascara by Weston Atelier. Love that one. So here we are. I feel like this, I look very nice. I look like a very clear skin. Uh, I just feel like I have a very heavy makeup look on. And uh, maybe for winter that would be okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really like doing positive reviews and I just feel like this one's overwhelmingly not so much, but I'm really striving to give you honest reviews. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will subscribe. It lets me know that you're out there and encourages me to continue to make these videos. So uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and thanks for stopping by to the crazy train today. See ya.